What's up guys, Vibrant here, and today we have a brand new product from Helio RC. That is the Helio Spring Flight Controller Mini. And this is a 20 by 20 flight controller. And it does everything that the Helio Spring uh, original one does in the all-in-one, but just in a smaller form factor for all like the three inch, four inch builds, even a two inch build most likely. Um, this thing does do up to 6S as you can see on the label. And this is pretty much everything it comes with when you purchase it. So you get a little baggie, it comes with some soft mount gummies for the flight controller, and also does come with a 4-in-1 ESC header. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in real quick here, and we're gonna kinda go over all the um, pins and pretty much everything that you do get in this flight controller. I will say that I'm really impressed though with this flight controller. I mean, think about it, it's 20 by 20, and it has an F3 and F4 processor for like the Helio Spring does. And it is so tiny and it is so crammed packed with components. It is really an amazing job that they did. It even has a 401 ESC header, like I said before. But let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go ahead and go over all the uh, pins and um, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, here's a little close up of the Helio Spring Mini. And I'm kind of just going to go over the pins on it. And um, I mean, it is really impressive that they were able to stick a M3 and a F4 processor on this little 20 by 20. And I believe that's the F3 processor, and this is the F4 right there. Um, this is the OSD chip. But let's go ahead and kind of go over the pins going from left to right. Now, right up top here, we have our um, signal top for our motor 4. And then over here, we have our motor 2. And then we have our motor 1 and motor 3 all on the top for the signals for the ESCs. Um, now, starting here from the right here, we have our ground our camera plus here, that's where you want to connect your camera plus in. We have our video in for our camera, and then we also have our camera control pin right here, and then we have our video out pin there. And then over here on this side, we have our, um, see here, we have our ground, we have our 3.3 volts, and then we have another camera video out right here. And then again, it goes to camera control, camera plus, and ground. And then on this side right here, we have our 5 volt, our S bus pad, our S port pad, and then our ground right here. And then going down here on the right hand side, we have our ground, we have our LED, LED 5 volts, then we have our buzz, buzzer plus, buzzer minus, and then ground. And then if we flip over the flight controller, you also notice here that it does have a plug for the 4-in-1 ESC for a 20 by 20 stack. And that's why it comes with one of these guys right here, which is great. That's what I'm going to be using it with. I'm going to be building it with the Armington Gecko. So you're going to see that coming on the channel as well, the Armington Gecko. Um, I'm going to use the 4-inch version, so it's going to be pretty sweet. So on the back, we pretty much just have on the... I'm going to talk about this connector right here. We have VBAT, Receive 4, Ground. Um, let me go ahead and... Do it that way so we can do that. We have VBAT, we have receive four ground, and then motors one to four on that. And then on the bottom, it's pretty much the same thing. Actually, no, it's not. It actually looks like we have TX3, RX3, um, 3.3 volts ground, five volts, receive one, and then transmit one. And then on the bottom pads of all four corners, you have your ESE telemetry, which is really awesome. That's RX4, if you don't know that already. And it's all timed to RX4, so if you're using ESC telemetry, you cannot use the RX4 pad over here. Um, actually, it'll be actually over here on the actual header. But then we have um, boot pins right here to boot it up into boot learner mode if you want to do it that way. I usually just use it um, immersion RC, uh, impulse RC driver fixer to put it in DFU mode. Um, and then on the top here we have. Uh, Receive 5, transmit 5, 5 volts, ground, 3.3 volts, receive 2, and then transmit 2. So that is pretty much the Helio Spring Flight Controller Mini. Um, I'll leave down in the comments section below um, an affiliate link to go ahead and get it yourself. Um, it does not cost you more money. It just adds a little bit of extra money and helps support the channel for me to show you guys some new products um, every now and then. So... I appreciate you guys watching, and like I said, stay tuned. If you haven't already, subscribe and give this video a like. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.